Well, tonight, police continue their search for a 36-year-old Minneapolis man who's accused of setting a fire at a local mosque. Jackie Little is currently charged with one count of second-degree arson for Monday evening's fire at the Mercy Islamic Center. Sharon Yu looked into the case and found this is much more complex than an arson incident. Sharon? Well, Julie, that's exactly right. Jackie Little's criminal history reveals the tumultuous mental health history he's had and shows that he's been in and out of custody over the past several years. Jackie Rom Little's case goes back to December of 2021 when he was arrested for a car fire outside of an apartment complex in Minneapolis. As he made his way through the court system, he was struggling with severe mental illness and drug abuse, diagnosed with bipolar and stimulant use disorders. He had been kicked out of his group home for aggressive behavior and using a racial slur. He was twice bailed out by the Freedom Fund, a controversial nonprofit that pays bonds for low-income inmates. In January this year, he was found incompetent to stand trial and became what's known as a gap case, a problem CARE 11 has been reporting about for the past two years, where suspects charged with crimes are released back to the community when they are too mentally ill to defend themselves in court. Just three months later and now wanted for arrest, Hennepin County has not been able to find Little. This letter shows he was kicked out of a Plymouth group home yesterday, the same day he was charged with setting fire to the Mercy Islamic Center. As for the other mosque arson, he has not been charged, but Minneapolis Police Chief Brian O'Hara says the department suspects the same person was responsible for both those fires. CARE 11 has reported extensively on gap cases just like this, which you can read about by going to our website, care11.com slash the gap.